this is Ed Monfort and we're going to do a, a review on a Automani all-electric F-150. So this truck is 100% all-electric and this is the way it works. Uh, you really wouldn't know it was all-electric unless someone told you because when you go inside here, you're going to see all the OEM parts are the same. So you're going to see all the gas pedals are the same. And you're also going to see that the ignition, everything's the same. And this is our emergency shutoff because it's a high voltage system, but just in case we'll forget. But all you do is you just take the OEM key, place it in the ignition, turn it, put it in neutral, and you wait about five seconds, just like a diesel truck. And after that, you just turn the key and hold it until you hear it start and let go. And now it revs just like an electric, just like a gas vehicle. And most of all, look under the hood. They uh, maintained all the OEM parts. So unlike Tesla, you have to take it to a special dealer. With this company, you can take it to any mechanic. Because here's your alternator, here's your compressor, here's your belt. If you look way down in here, you'll see an electric motor. There's an electric motor, and that's hooked up to the OEM transmission. So anybody can work on this vehicle. And if you have to repair the motor, there's about 12 companies in the LA area that repair these kind of motors. So it's very easy to maintain and repair. And on this vehicle, they've had to repair it once. It was a power steering pump. It cost about $90. Uh, a guy that only spoke Spanish came out and repaired an all-electric truck. So if you look here in the back, you see they have a battery system. This is just a prototype. It'll be a lot cleaner, just like a Tesla once it's done. But they can go into production pretty quick. But here's one of the nice features on this vehicle is you can charge this vehicle anywhere. So it comes with a port. So let's say you're at grandma's house, and you know grandma doesn't have a charger. You simply plug it into, you plug it into her 240 dryer. This is a 240 50 amp dryer plug. Got that at Home Depot. Bring it over here. Plug it up. Charger's on. So that's the grandma's house or anybody's house version. But let's say you're at a charging station. Here's a charging station. This is on the grid. So you're at a Walgreens or a Walmart or anywhere that's on the grid, this is where a Tesla or a Chevy Volt would charge. And of course, here's a Cadillac on charge. Take it out, this is all computerized. Plug it up, and you heard it click. It is now communicating with the grid. So this vehicle can charge on the grid or off the grid. They thought of everything. Now what we're going to do is take this thing for a test drive. So let's go for a test drive. It's already in race mode. So I'm going to take it out on the road. I'm going to put the laptop down on the ground. And we're going to take off. It's unplugged. I'm going to come out here on the road. As you can see, you can hear the engine revving. It still sits on an idle of about 800 RPMs just sitting here. So we're in race mode. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. Here we go. We're gonna take it out on the road now. That's a pretty good burnout. This thing's got some power. So now we're gonna take it on the road. Oh, she's got some power.
eight seconds, zero to 50 in about eight seconds. That's pretty fast for a truck. Now I'm gonna test the power ABS brakes. So we're gonna try it. Oh, she works good. Okay, so now we're gonna come out on the road. I'm gonna see how fast I can get this thing on a secondary road. Here we are, we got some people trying to catch us already. But yeah, this one's pretty fast. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the shop. Actually, let me pull over and do this. I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna pull over here on the side of the road, put my flashers on. Yep, still has flashers right here on the side. There it is. I'm gonna get on the computer here and I'm gonna put this in economy mode. So what I do is I go into the BMS controller and I connect to the BMS. I'm now connecting to the BMS while I'm sitting on the side of the road. And now they can do this online as well. So you can say, hey, I don't want to do this. Call them up. They'll use the Wi-Fi from your building or from your phone and they'll hook right up to it. And they can change all these parameters. So I'm changing the parameters now. 2.3. Ah, let's go over here. And I'm going to send the profile. Hit agree that I understand how to change the profiles to the system. It's downloading now. We're at about 50% already. And once this is downloaded, I'm going to show you a cool little feature feature okay it's all set so it's now in economy mode so I'm going to shut this show you something pretty interesting so what happens uh, I'm going to take off normal so you can see we're running pretty smooth this is running like a like a smooth Cadillac almost but now I'm going to pull over and I'm going to go try to drive it like it's in race mode so here we go. Oh, oh, it's it's jumping. It's sputtering all over the place. So I'm going to slow down. I'm going to drive in a safe manner. This thing's driving like a Cadillac now. I'm I'm up to 40 miles an hour. It's cruising down the road. Up to 50 miles an hour already. Just driving normal, like you should. So I'm gonna come up on this stop sign. Ah, I just missed that one. So that car slowed down, so I'm gonna come out. I'm out on the road. So I'm actually beating traffic that's already going, so now I'm gonna floor it. No, it doesn't like that. Oh, yeah, it's jumping around pretty good. So I'm gonna slow down to a safe mode. Now being easy on the throttle, this thing is running smooth as silk now. So if I try to drive this vehicle in a race mode while it's in safe mode, it starts jumping all over the place, just like I showed you. But wait next time, and I'm gonna show you a couple of other vehicles. I'm gonna compare this vehicle to some Teslas and Cadillacs and even all electric trucks like big box trucks and things like that. So we'll see you next time.